hello guys welcome to my channel thank you so much for stopping by today to watch my video so in today's video i'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to make a thumbnail so if by the end of this video you enjoy it please leave a thumbs up to this video subscribe if you haven't and also comment down below and share this to who you think will be interested so now let's get started so the first thing you're going to do is screenshot a part of the video that you want to expose as your thumbnail so for example i'm going to be using kiana and abby so i screenshotted a part of the video and after i did that i went to safari and i went on to remove.bg which is a website that removes the background of your images automatically so yeah so once you finish erasing the background of your picture you're gonna go to the search bar and you're gonna type in pixel speech bubble so in here you're gonna type in anything that you want to include in your thumbnail for example i think i added subscribe in mine so after that i just clicked on create and then it appears as a speech bubble in here and then just click on download and download it from there you're gonna go back to the search bar and you're gonna type in thumbnail and your favorite color so mine is pink for example and then after that sun rays you're gonna go to images and then choose any one that you like so the one that i went for was this one and then i just saved it from here so choose any one that you like and save it to your camera roll after that you're gonna go to pixart click on all photos by going to the home page and then click on the picture that you just saved from google which is the sun rays and then click on tools and then click on crop scroll and then click on youtube then click on apply next thing you're going to do is scroll and then click on add photo and then add the picture that you saved from remove.bg before which is the one that you erase the background from and then you're just going to make it big like this great so don't click on apply just click on the black space now click on sticker and then type in iphone emoji or emoji either is fine and then choose any emoji that you like so the one i used was this one and then i just made it big like this and then because the emoji was like on top of Abby's hair, I just clicked on the eraser above here and then I just erase that part. So it looks like the emoji is behind her. Great. So now you're going to click on the tick sign and then you're going to add more emojis. And then do exactly the same thing again. So once you finish adding all the emojis that you like, you're going to go back to sticker and you're going to type in DDG. So now you're going to click on any one that you like and then you're just going to make this big. So now you're going to screenshot any part of your video and then you're just going to make them into a circle shape. So for example, I was to do a makeup thumbnail, I would screenshot a makeup brush for example because that's like one of the highlights of my video because that's what i'm going to be using to do my makeup so just screenshot any part of the video that has something to do with your title i hope that makes sense so once you get the picture then you scroll and then you click on shape click on the circle and then make it big and then click on the arrow and then decrease the outline to zero then click on save 
now you're gonna take it here or anywhere in the thumbnail i'm gonna tilt mine a bit like this then now i'm gonna click on sticker and then i'm gonna type in pink neon circle or you can just type in neon circle now i'm gonna make this outline go on top of my picture great so now we're gonna click on apply so now the last thing you're going to do is click on add photo and you're gonna add your speech bubbles that you saved from pixel speech bubble before and then you're gonna add it anyway add this one here and this one here like this great and then now i'm gonna click on apply so for this next part we're gonna be choosing the effect so you're going to fx and then click on hdr1 so as you can see this effect is very dramatic so you know i did make some adjustments to it by just clicking on the effect again and then it comes up with these things so i screenshotted the numbers that i got everything to be at so i got 22 for blur 40 for on sharp 20 for saturation and 43 for fade you don't have to get into these numbers if you don't want to but this is what i wanted this is the way i liked it so yeah so once you finish doing that you're gonna click on apply and then you're going to save this by clicking on the arrow then now we're going to go to Fonto. you're going to click on the camera photo albums and you're gonna upload what we just saved from pixart now you're gonna type in the title of your thumbnail so for this video i'm showing you guys how to do a thumbnail so that's what's gonna be my title so the font i used was avenue next condensed bold so this is the font that comes with fonto so you don't have to download nothing and then i did the other part so for a thumbnail bit i clicked on curve and then i curve this so to get to curve you just scroll okay so yeah um that's where i got my curve to be and then i made this a bit smaller so now i clicked on style and clicked on create color pattern and then i just chose the colors that i liked i'm not sure what color i went for but i know i went for these pinks in here so yeah and then after that i clicked on character at the top and then i clicked on gradient then i clicked on apply and then i went on to stroke then i clicked on the white stroke then i went back to style and then i chose the dark pink and then now i did exactly the same thing for the other one and then that's the way i made this thumbnail so this is the end of this video thank you so much if you made it till the end of it don't forget to like comment subscribe have a good day god bless you all and see you in my next video bye